What's up, YouTube? This is Damon, a.k.a. The World's Worst Magician. And right now, I got some great news. Uh, I had alluded to this previously that I was, uh, I had reached out to a couple of magic websites and I was trying to get somebody to sponsor me. And uh, the good fellows at Penguin Magic have decided to do so. So, what does this mean for me? Uh, they will be providing magic tricks for me to review. Um, does this mean that I'm going to give them stellar five-star ratings every single time now? No, Demon has not sold out. Uh, so they will be providing it and I will be bringing you the same honesty that I have been providing in reviews and that's actually what they liked about what I do. So they want me to continue doing that. Um, but I will be providing links to their website so that way you can check it out if you're not familiar with Penguin Magic. Um, if you are new to magic or anything like that, I would highly suggest checking out their website because they work with several magicians uh, and provide magic across the board versus uh, a few websites that are a little more specialized, like they have their own camp. Um, so this one just gives you a little bit more of a variety and something new uh, that they've started is auctions. So you can get magic tricks at a discount. Um, and the price drops every single minute. So you can actually watch the price dropping and try to pick up something uh, at a great price. I've actually done that for a few tricks recently uh, before they even sponsored me. So uh, I will be reviewing those uh, pretty soon here. So the other thing that I would ask is if you're on Penguin Magic and you've seen a trick and you would like a review on it, please let me know uh, because the more response that I'm getting for their website and the more you know things that you guys are asking for from them, the more that they'll be providing for me and in turn, the more that I can provide for you. So kind of a win-win all around and I'm super stoked uh, that with my tiny little channel, they decided to you know help me out and try to help me grow. So that's awesome. Uh, so again, that's penguinmagic.com. And, um, you know, go check them out. Uh, I'm there fairly often along with, you know, the rest of the websites. But like I said, they uh, took a chance on me and uh, they have sponsored me and given me uh, a few tricks. So the tricks that they have provided me to review uh, right now is the No Touch Control by Mike Shashkoff, Play Money by Nick DeFate, uh, Incinerate by Brent Braun, and Melt 2.0 by Matthew Johnson. Um, so I'll be getting those videos shot up for you here soon and get them posted so that we can start getting into the content. And like I said, if you go to their website and find something that you want reviewed, uh, please let me know. And I am keeping a list so that way I can send it to them. So if they have some popular tricks that everybody wants reviewed, then, you know, uh, maybe they'll send those to me and I can get those for you. And to celebrate hitting almost 600 subscribers. So it was just a short while ago, we were trying to reach 200 and then we hit 500 and now we are very close to 600 uh, to celebrate the sponsorship and the um, almost 600. We're very close. I wanted to go ahead and give away a free card trick that I call stand out in a crowd. Uh, it's a basically it's a triumph routine. Uh, it's just it's very simple to do, but it does get good reactions. Um, so I did want to give it away. And like I said, it's called stand out in a crowd. All right. So what we have here is just some random cards. Uh, you can see that they all have the same back. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take half of the deck and put it face down and then have half of the deck face up. And then we are going to just shuffle them together. Just a nice rough shuffle so that they're mixed up. So as you can see, some of the cards are face up and some of the cards are face down. Now, what I want you to do is just select any card. Uh, we'll take the 10 of spades and I just want you to take it from face up and point it face down. And what we're going to do is put them back together. Now, I believe that there's a connection between people and the cards they choose because you chose that card for a reason, or maybe the card selected you. So we know that most people like to stand out in a crowd, and I feel like by touching that card, you've passed along that trait to it. So what I mean is, by giving it a quick riffle here, and then we spread, you can see that now every other card is face down, except for the one that you chose. All right, so that's called stand out in a crowd, and like I said, it's essentially just a triumph routine. So. Let's go over how to do this. All right, so what you are going to need for this trick is essentially two stacks of cards. One stack is just gonna be any random 
cards that you have. Uh, just make sure that, you know, they're all different. And then the other stack is actually all double backers. Um, so if you're not familiar with Magic and what a double backer is, it's just, it's the back of the card, but on both sides. Um, so with these, you can make your own using double-sided tape and two cards and just sticking them together, or you can just purchase a double backer deck um, that comes with 52 of these cards. So one um, tip is when you take the stacks, so when I hold these back to back, I'll show you, uh, you see how they bow away from each other? So what I've done is I just grab each stack and then just give it a little bit of a flex. So once you've given it that flex, the reason that you're gonna do this is when you show, so first you show, so from the top you can't see that. Uh, from the back it's actually pretty obvious. You see that gap there by holding it at the top. Uh, what you're gonna do is show here, try not to flash. Uh, I think I flashed in my performance video, but yeah, I'm giving the trick away. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you don't want to flash. So what you want to do is just make sure that you're pushing directly over and don't show all the cards. I mean, if you show this, this is enough cards to be convincing that, hey, all these cards are different. And then go ahead and flip it over and show that all the cards have the same back. So that way, you know, they know that you're dealing with the same deck. Now, when you turn it back over after showing that, what you're gonna do is place your thumb across the top of the cards to create this separation. And the reason you're doing that is once you create the separation, you're gonna take your pinky and just pull off the bottom part. So now what you've done is separate the top, which is regular cards, from the bottom stack, which is the double backers. Um, so one thing is when you're doing it, you want to start this move. So from here, if you look at it, I'm already peeling these away and turning them over before they hit the table. So you want to disguise it under here and then put them down because the problem is that if you try to take it away and then turn it over, they're going to see that it's the same on both sides. So you have this here and you say, what we're going to do is, and I've already turned them over and put them down, is split the deck into half face up, half face down. Uh, so now you just do the standard, uh, whatever kind of shuffle you're good with. Um, I'm doing an ugly riffle shuffle, <laughs> which is a little difficult to do because my hands are like right in front of this uh, camera. But once you do that and spread it out, you'll see now that every card that appears to be face down is actually a double backer. So what's going to happen is when they take a card and turn it face down to join the rest, now, once we flip the cards over, so again, it still looks like we have cards face up and face down, but the reality is if I take where we just put that card, this is the only one that's a, a real card and it's gonna be face down. So, once we do that, put them all together, and you flip them over, now you are looking at the actual back of, let me find a real card. Um, so you're looking at the actual backs of the real card, and then the double backers. So now it will appear that every other card has turned face down except for the one that they chose. So it's a pretty visual trick. Uh, people's minds are gonna be blown. Uh, you could have them do a sign card and then turn it face down so they know that this is their card. It's not any kind of optical illusion or anything like that. Uh, another cool variation that I've done is let them select multiple cards. And, you know, it takes just a quick minute to do the reset uh, to get the cards back in order. But I have had, you know, where somebody asked me to do it and then they, they're like, well, what if I select more than one card? And I'm like, go ahead and then it still works so all the other cards will still go face down um, and then you'll still have just their cards uh, whichever ones they've selected go face up so that I call it stand out in a crowd uh, just because I do it a little bit different it's all in my presentation but uh, like I said this card trick is just essentially a triumph routine that's been tested throughout <laughs> the ages of magic. Um, but yeah, whenever you're done for the reset, all you're gonna do is take the cards and just pull them apart and separate into decks of double backer and regular. And the beauty of it is once you uh, do this and you go through the reset, the cards will still maintain that slight bend 
So once you go to do this, uh, let me get them all back in their stack so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, so I've just put these back and they're, they still have that little flex in them. So let me focus on that so you can see the flex. And if you need more, that's all you have to do is just push from the top and bottom of the cards at the same time with the same amount of pressure to give it a little bend. And then once you have that bend, um, that will just make sure that the top piece um, make sure that the bends don't go together because right now like if I line them up like this the bends are together And we don't want that you want them to bow away from each other like that uh, Let me make sure I focus so you can see that bend so that way when you put pressure on the top It separates from the bottom and then with that separation that's where you can go ahead and slide your pinky in there and then get a clean break all right, so if you have any questions on this method or uh, any questions about how to do this trick, uh, just leave a comment below and let me know and I will get back to you. If you have any questions about what this sponsorship means for myself or my channel, uh, go ahead and leave that down there as well. And uh, like I said, if you've been on Penguin Magic or even if you're new to the website, please go there, find some tricks that look super cool. And if I have not reviewed them already, uh, I will be reviewing them soon hopefully and uh, you know just send those to me and I'll get the list and I will also put uh, a link in the description to their site and uh, the four tricks that I mentioned earlier that I will be reviewing uh, hopefully this week I'll get at least two of them done this week um, I'm not sure if I will get to all of them but I will try my best and um, yeah so that is the big news for my channel and your free card trick I hope you enjoyed that and uh, yeah just let me know if you have any questions or comments all right see ya as always, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click that like button and subscribe for any future reviews. All right, see ya.